hello everyone and welcome back to my channel dear friends hope you are all doing well today i am with the video mathematics video for the triple e stream students okay so model questions paper second i have selected and i have taken the question from the four year series where most of the students are leaving this chapter just because they think there is the integration part okay but let me tell you it is a very simpler one no higher order uh, integration is over there okay simple integration is bernoulli's rule of integration so let me solve this particular question over here okay so find the fourier series to represent uh, f of x x is equal to x minus x square in the interval minus pi to pi hence deduce that 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square plus so so on is equal to pi square by 12 you have to show this particular equation at the last so this is your given fourier series which you have to remember okay so for every question which is from minus pi to pi interval so Fourier series is given by a naught by 2 plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity a n cos of n x plus summation of n running from 1 to infinity b n sine of b x. So you have to calculate these a naught value a n. These are called the Fourier coefficients. So a n, a naught and b n you have to calculate. Okay. Then accordingly put those values in this uh, Fourier series. You will get the required series over here. Okay. So let me calculate one by one. First of all, we will calculate a naught. Okay. So a naught is given by one upon pi integration of minus pi to pi f of x dx. Okay. This is the a naught value which you have to calculate. Now put down the values accordingly. So a naught is equal to one upon pi integration of minus pi to pi. What is the f of x value? It is given in the question. f of x is equal to x minus x square. So x minus x square d x over here okay so now calculate accordingly you will get so which is equal to 1 by pi integration of x minus x square what is the integration of x minus x square it is x uh, integration of x is x square upon 2 you have like this if you are not knowing the integration suppose if it is x raised power 1 you have to simply uh, simply add 1 over here and then 1 plus 1 over here so this is your x square by 2 this becomes integration for the x okay then accordingly minus what is the integration of x square it will be x 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 so x cube upon 3 will be the integration for this so x cube upon 3 and the limits will shift from minus pi to pi okay so now 1 upon pi just apply limits upper limit minus lower limit first of all i will apply upper limit so instead of x you have to put down pi so pi square by 2 minus pi cube by 3 this is upper limit minus lower limit lower limit means minus pi you have to put so minus pi whole square divided by 2 minus minus pi whole cube divided by 3 this is your upper limit right so 1 by pi this is your pi square by 2 minus pi cube by 3 minus pi square is pi square so minus into plus then becomes minus over here so pi square by 2 this is your minus so minus pi cube is minus pi so minus into minus becomes plus that plus and this minus will become minus over here so minus pi cube by 3 okay so pi square by 2 pi square by 2 will get cancelled okay what i will get 1 by pi this is minus 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 and minus plus 2 times pi cube by 3 okay i hope you are getting this pi and 1 pi will get cancel i will get, get with 2 pi square by 3 this is your a naught value a naught is equal to 2 pi square by 3 but in the fourier series i required uh, a naught sorry a naught by 2 okay so i can simply write down here a naught upon this 2 i will divide a naught by 2 is equal to pi square by 3 and sorry this is minus here minus minus becomes plus in addition but sign will remain minus over here okay so minus 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 so a naught by 2 is equal to minus pi square by 3 this is one Fourier quotient that is a naught now i have to calculate a n value now see here a n i have to calculate so a n is equal to 1 upon pi integration of minus pi to pi x minus x square cos of n x dx this is the formula for a n okay so I can write a n is equal to 1 by pi yes it is the given function actually x minus uh, x minus x square the general formula for a n is 1 upon pi integration of minus pi to pi f of x cos of 
and x dx so no don't be confused i have uh, taken f of x value here as x minus x square as it is given in the problem right so now let me solve this accordingly with the help of bernoulli's rule of integration so just keep u as it is suppose this is u this is your v okay in the bernoulli's rule of integration keep u as it is x minus x square as it is integration of cos of nx okay what is the integration of cos of nx it is sine of nx by n okay then minus what a differentiation of this term differentiation of this term what is the differentiation of x 1 minus what is the differentiation of x square that is 2x right then again integration of sine of nx by n so it is minus cos of nx by n square it is the integration of sine nx by n then plus differentiation of this term so what is the differentiation of constant 0 minus differentiation of 2x is 2 so i can write down minus minus is the sign here that is why i am writing minus 2 multiplied by integration of this much term okay it is the bernoulli's rule of integration so what is the integration of cos of nx it will be minus sin of nx by n cube this is your overall bernoulli's rule of integration over here okay if you have not watched uh, the videos of uh, fourier series so i will just provide the link in the description box where i have discussed this bernoulli's rule of integration over there okay so next step is a n z equal and sorry shift uh, of these uh, limits will be there that is minus pi to pi now when you are applying uh, limits so this sign of nx will always be zero over there so you should cut this one this one you should make as zero just because sign of n pi is always equal to zero so while you are applying the limits sine of n pi okay that will become zero term that is why i cut it in this particular setup okay now i will get with one by pi this minus into minus is plus so no need to write one minus two x i can write simply one minus two x multiplied by cos of nx by n square okay so limits will shift from minus pi to pi okay so a n is equal to 1 by pi and this n square I will take out this is your n square and 1 minus 2 x multiplied by cos of n x okay and limits will be same minus pi to pi now just apply upper limit minus lower limit so a n is equal to 1 by pi n square this is your 1 minus instead of x you have to put down the upper limit so 1 minus 2 pi multiplied by cos of n pi minus lower limit lower limit will be 1 minus 2 into minus pi okay 1 minus 2 into minus pi lower limit is minus pi multiplied by cos of n pi if i write cos of n of minus pi cos absorbs the negative value so i can simply write cos of n pi over here okay i hope you are getting so this is a n is equal to 1 by pi n square multiply this one with cos of n pi so cos of n pi minus 2 pi cos of n pi separately multiply these terms okay this is your minus 1 into cos pi cos of n pi minus minus is plus okay and this minus is minus so minus minus plus plus minus minus 2 pi into cos of n pi cos of n pi 2 pi times okay so this is your cos of n pi cos of n pi will get cancelled this is positive this is negative i will get with 1 upon pi n square this is your minus 2 pi 2 pi minus minus plus so 2 pi 2 pi is 4 pi so 4 pi times cos of n pi okay i am getting with so a n is equal to this minus i will take out 1 upon pi n square this is your 4 pi okay cos of n pi so cos of n pi it is always equal to minus 1 raised power n okay minus 1 raised power n so a n is equal to this minus 1 and minus 1 bases are same powers are added so i can write minus 1 raised power n plus 1 when bases are same powers are added so and again 4 pi is here divided by pi n square so pi pi will get cancelled a n is equal to 4 times minus 1 n plus 1 divided by n square this is your a n term so this is again another Fourier quotient now i have to calculate b n value already we calculated a naught a n now we have to calculate b n value right now b n term b n sorry b n it is general formula is 1 by pi integration of minus pi to pi x minus x square sine of 
n x dx. Okay, so which is equal to one upon pi. Now apply Bernoulli's rule of integration. So x as it, sorry u as it is. I'm considering this much as u, this much as v over here. Okay, so u as it is integration of sine of n x. That is cos of minus cos of n x by n. Okay, fine. Then minus differentiation of this term. So what is the differentiation of x? That is one minus differentiation of x square is two x. Integration of minus cos of n x. That is minus sine of n x divided by n square. Okay, plus differentiation of this term that is uh, differentiation of 1 is 0 no need to write differentiation of minus 2x is minus 2 okay then again integration of this much term minus sine of nx by n square it is integration is cos of nx by n cube okay limits will be shifted from minus pi to pi while applying upper limit and lower limit this sine of nx you have to neglect this one you have to make it 0 just because sine of n pi is always equal to 0 okay so just apply limits separately with this term and this term okay so i will take minus 1 by n common minus here and here okay then just apply upper limits the pi minus pi square instead of x you have to take pi upper limit okay pi minus pi square multiplied by cos of n pi minus lower limit lower limit means minus pi you have to take instead of x so minus pi minus minus pi square okay then multiplied by cos of n of minus pi okay i hope you are getting then i am writing here minus this much term that is 2 by n cube i will take out so upper limit that is cos of n pi minus cos of n of minus pi this is after applying the limits okay so which is equal to 1 upon pi this will be your see here pi cos of n pi so this minus i will take first out so minus pi by n okay now i will remain with pi into cos of n pi so pi cos of n pi minus pi square into cos of n pi pi square into cos of n pi okay then this is minus and minus will get plus so first see here this is cos of n pi cos of n pi okay cos of n of minus pi so as i earlier told you cos of minus n p is always equal to cos of n pi okay it of course absorbs the negative value it is the 10th concept or 12th concept you you are, you are already aware of it okay so this becomes cos of n pi minus cos of n pi will get cancelled this whole term will become zero so multiply with this it will become zero so this much term will become zero over here right then minus into minus is plus multiplied by this cos of n pi that is plus sorry pi times cos of n pi okay then minus and minus will get plus so see here plus uh, pi square into cos of n pi Co pi square into cos of n pi okay so see here this is minus pi square cos of n pi plus pi square cos of n pi it will get cancelled so which is equal to minus 1 by pi n this is pi cos of n pi pi cos of n pi that is 2 pi times cos of n pi right so minus 1 divided by pi n and multiplied by 2 pi cos of n pi is always equal to minus 1 raised power n so i can write minus 1 raised power n so see here minus 1 minus 1 bases are same powers will be added so minus 1 raised power n plus 1 2 pi divided by pi n okay so pi pi will get cancelled i will get with 2 times minus 1 raised power n plus 1 okay divided by n this is your bn term now all the fourier quotients we have calculated now simply you have to put down these values in the given fourier series so see here this is your given fourier series i have written it over here as same as it is now a naught by 2 value we have calculated minus pi square by 3 so i can write here f of x is equal to minus pi square by 3 right plus summation of this one okay what is the a n value a n value is here 4 into minus 1 n plus 1 divided by n square so i can write here summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n value is 4 4 i can take out this is constant minus 1 raised power n plus 1 divided by n square and this cos of nx of the series plus b n what is the b n value 2 by n 2 i will take out summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity b n value is minus 1 raised power n plus 1 divided by n and sine of bx will be there for the series 
I hope you are getting it. Now you have to deduce this particular equation. It is here in the question and has deduced that this should be equal to pi square. So now let me deduce it. So f of x value is given in the question that is x minus x square is equal to minus pi square by 3 plus 4 times summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised power n plus 1 divided by n square cos of nx plus 2 times summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to the power n plus 1 divided by n sine of bx. So let x is equal to 0. Put at x is equal to 0 at the initial stage. That is 0 minus 0 square is 0 is equal to minus pi square by 3 plus 4 times summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to the power n plus 1 divided by n square cos of uh, nx. Cos of 0 is 1. So and sine of x is 0, si, uh, sorry x is 0, so sine 0 is always 0, this term will become 0 over here, right? So no need to write. So 0 is equal to minus pi square by 3 plus 4, summation of n from 1. So now you have to put down the n value from 1 to infinity, What it is your choice. How many values you will take? So 4 times summation means minus 1 raised power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 square, okay? Then plus minus 1 raised power n now take 2 value 2 plus 1 divided by sorry 2 square you are taking n value as 2 plus minus 1 raised power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 square then accordingly take 4 minus 1 raised power 4 divided by 4 square okay so, sorry 4 plus 1 is here plus so so on now 0 is equal to pi square by 3 plus 4 times minus 1 square is 1 okay so minus 1 square is 1 so it will be 1 by 1 square plus minus 1 cube 2 plus 1 is 3 so minus 1 cube is minus 1 upon 2 square okay plus minus 1 raised power 4 will be positive 1 divided by 3 square then minus so minus 1 raised power 5 it will be minus 1 divided by 4 square plus so so on right so this is your if it is pi sorry this is minus pi square by 3 so I will shift it on the left hand side that will be your pi square by 3 is equal to 4 times 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square plus so so on right I hope you are following this 4 I will shift here it will become pi square by 12 is equal to 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square plus so so on this was your question that deduce that this particular equation that is pi square by 12 should be equal to 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square so this is all about this particular question i hope this is clear to you people so make sure you will share it with all your friends thank you for watching the video